Name's Irving Fain. I'm the CEO and co-founder of CrowdTwist. We are the leading provider of multi-channel loyalty and analytics solutions for large brands. Depending upon what you're selling, the way that you approach larger clients can differ. The most important thing to leverage when you're an earlier company and a younger company is the fact that you can move it very quickly. And oftentimes you can innovate in ways that these companies may be working with other folks who can't move as quickly. One of the things that we found is many, many bigger clients, and particularly I think this trend is continuing as time goes on, are looking towards the earlier stage in the startup ecosystem to find new innovation, to figure out new opportunities, new ideas, new platforms that they may not be seeing from their existing vendors. Usually the most important thing to do that we found is to get in the door and to establish that relationship, find a real champion inside the company, find somebody who believes in what you're doing, who really wants to see you successful in that company, and who's gonna help you navigate the politics and, and the world inside the organization to get to a point where you have a deal. Find companies that are willing to take chances. There are some people that are first movers and are innovators, and there are some companies that are followers, some that are fast followers, and some that are slow followers. You can spend a lot of time and energy trying to convert a slow or fast follower who's never gonna be your first big client on board. So focus your energy on the kind of companies that have showed themselves in the past that they'd be willing to jump in and try a new technology with a company that may be slightly unproven. Once you've done that though, the great thing is when you've got that first big client, now when you go talk to the next big client, you're able to say, we work with X. So we work with Zoomies, we work with Pepsi, we work with Nestle now, and we can go in, into bigger clients and say, we work with these different folks, and that gives an immediate form of confidence. In some ways, it's the equivalent of social proof at the business level. If you look at a company that's never worked with an early stage company up until now, the chance that you're gonna be the first to turn them, is it possible? Sure, possible. Is that the best place to spend your time and effort? Probably not. And I think that one of the most valuable assets you have when you're building a company in the early days is your time. And so spending your time in a, in a, in a good place and spending your time most efficiently and effectively is extremely important.